Hello and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, I'd uh, I'd like us to start off on unit one, which is generalized cash flow models. As you know, actuaries often have to manage various cash flows, and the first question that comes to mind is, what is a cash flow? Well, a cash flow is made up of sums of money paid or received at different times. And I'll give you an example to reinforce this idea. Our example is going to be that of an insurance firm. Let us assume that this insurance firm has one client who pays a premium, a yearly premium of a thousand pounds. And uh, let us go on to further assume that this insurance company has to pay expenses of five hundred pounds at the end of the year. If we draw a timeline from, oof, there goes my ink. Let me just grab another pen and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Right, um, if we draw a, a, time a timeline from time zero to time one, because we're looking at this insurance firm over a period of one year. Well, at time zero, this client will pay the insurance company a thousand pounds as premium. And uh, at the end of the year, this insurance company is going to pay out 500 pounds to cover the expenses through the year. What we have here is a cash flow on a timeline and um, right here at time zero this val uh, this amount of a thousand pounds is a positive cash flow it's a positive cash flow to the insurance firm while this other 500 pound this 500 pounds here is a negative cash flow to the insurance firm because the insurance company has to pay out 500 pounds here while it gains a thousand pounds here. Well, at times cash flows may be a little complicated. You can have cash flows where you do not know the timing of the cash flow. That is, you do not know when the cash will come in. And um, at times, you may not also know the amount of cash to expect. A good, I'll give you a basic example to explain that. Say that um, you're going off to uni and your, your parents say they will... Your parents give you a uh, thousand pounds as you're leaving home. Let's say at time zero when you're leaving home, they give you a thousand pounds and you're off to uni, let's say for a period of one year. In your mind, you know you will have to buy books. You know you will have to pay your rent. You know you'll have to pay a few bills. Now, these are amounts you'll have to pay, but you are, if you do not know the amount of... Uh, you, you, do, you may not know the amount you have to spend on books. You may not know the, the amount you have to spend on rent, or the amount you have to pay uh, for the bills. So this is a typical idea where you know the expenses, you know the negative cash flow, cash flows, but you do not know the amount of the cash flow. In the same way, your parents could tell you that after six months they will send you more money, but they do not tell you how much more money you will be receiving after six months. That is an example of a situation where you do not know the amount of money you'll be receiving in six months' time. Anyway, um, 
That being said, I'd like to give you a general overview of what the syllabus requires us to cover for the rest of the unit. Um, we are going to describe a zero coupon bond. We're going to describe a fixed interest security, an index linked security, cash on deposit and equity, interest only loan, a repayment loan, and an annuity certain using a cash flow model. What I mean by this is that we are going to use this kind of diagram here, for example, this cash flow diagram, like this and this, to describe each and every one of this. That being said, uh, you may take a look at the second part of Unit 1 to see how these have been described.